Okay, now that we've got Reaper up and running, we'll begin to do what we need to do to get this set up for a template. Now what we're going to do is, since we're not using the mixer, is simply close it down and giving us much more room, which we will definitely be needing a little later on. Um, next thing we're going to do is collect on our project settings tab and we're going to make sure that our project is set to 48 uh, kilohertz um, which is the standard rate for DVD. Um, on the video tabs button we need to make sure that we are matched to our film rate for the stock that we're using. Um, if not we'll have some major issues come up later on. I'm using 24 frames a second for the project so that's what I shall choose. Next right click up on the ruler at the top here and make sure that you've got hours, minutes, seconds, frames clicked, uh, checked. That's what I've got here so we're right. We also need to check down here that our clock is set to the same. And to do that, I simply use ruler time units. That way I know that whatever I've got set up top here in the ruler will match the clock at the bottom here. Um, so we're done there. The next thing we need to do is add in our master track. And we do that by right clicking in that plane. Of course, you can use Control, Alt and M to show the master track. Now our master track, most importantly, we need to set the I.O. up on that properly. At the moment we're set here for the default of stereo, which of course we don't want that. We actually need six channels and that's that set. Next thing we need to do is add in one more track and this one will be for our plugin, which is the REA Surround. That's it. Uh, I'm going to add that now. Uh, Hiding here somewhere. There we are. That's all we want. Let's break it out of there. Close that down. Now, as you can see, this is just been, um, set up in its default for stereo. Um, two tracks in, two tracks out. Um, we want it for surround sound, so we're clicking on this tab here. Drop down menu, straight to 5.1. Now, you'll notice we have six in, six out, our uh, speakers, and our LFE speaker, which is our low frequency effects, or subwoofer, is also marked. Um, in the next tutorial, I will go over the features of this um, um, plugin in a lot more detail. And for now, we'll close that down. Um, we will need to come back and check it before we're done. Um, now, we're going to start to insert tracks. We're going to do multiple tracks. Uh, we'll do four at the moment for our dialogue. I'll uh, change that to E X D and Bang, we now have our four in, which is good. We need to do the same again. Number four, we want this one to be our ambience. We can just put just put abbreviate it to Atmos. the next group we need is our uh, Foley and one more group this one is for our music okay so now we've got all that in we're going to make some more room here uh, hold shift down and select of these and we'll just in control and we'll shrink them all down um, 
Yep, that's all we need. Now the other thing I'm going to do is, yep, I'm just going to make a parenting group out of each one. This is just mainly to help us keep a track on where we're looking. Again, tracks. And one again for our oops, for our music. Okay, now the other thing we're gonna do is do some colouring. Color. Custom crack. Oh, let's go yellow. Let's go say, uh, yeah, we'll go blue. orange and like he asked we'll go uh, yeah that greeny car okay now that we've got all them in what we need to do is go through our routing now this is the one that's a little can be a bit complicated but well, once you've done your template here you won't actually have to come back and do this again unless you add more tracks but at least you'll have something to work from now of course we want the rea surround to be sending to the master but we do not want any of our other tracks to be sending to our master so we need to click on them and make sure parent send is disabled simply by checking unchecking that box on each one of these if you leave this any of these tracks set up to parent send what will happen is reaper will treat them as though they are a normal audio file um, and will bust them through to a left and right channel even though we're using six in our master bus our master track i should say You can tell when they're being done too. If you look at it, you'll see how this one I'm about to do is still lit up with a green dot. Of course, now it's gone red because I've just unchecked it. So that will tell you that there is no information or audio data being sent from any of these tracks to anywhere now. They are totally muted, as if as though you've unplugged them. So, now we'll go back and we'll set it up. Now, um... There's one little track I just forgot to put in. So we'll go back and I'll add that in now. Down here. One of the most important ones. And we'll move it up to here. And this is for our video. Of course, we also don't want that sent the same way. Okay, so now we've got all that done and we've got our track for our video in, um, we'll go through the routing. Now, I am going to step out um, from the norm on this and break away from the standard for um, surround sound mixing. And that is that normally the film you're working on now should just have dialogue on it. Um, it should also be the lock and that is the film from its very beginning to its very end. Uh, there should be no need now for it to go back and have anything done to it as far as editing goes. Um, normally the standard has been for quite a long time to send all the dialogue to the center speaker in the 5.1 surround speaker array. I'm not going to do that. Um, in this case, I am going to set it out to tracks one and leave it no actually i'm going to send it to track three 
which is the norm however I will probably only be using the video as a guide in this case because I will be using extra dialogue that will be coming from these tracks here and that will be moved around within the screen so for that I'll leave that there and this is the part that gets complicated um, one track there send to REA surrounds we want that to two this one's got to go to four because we're already using three and of course this one goes to five now you should also be working with mono um, files audio files but if you're not um, this setting up this way of setting up will use it a stereo file and treat it as if as though it is only a mono file so I'm going to be sending all these to the REA surround and I believe if I yep this goes to six Now, because we've done six, we need to hover over where it says here, new channels on receiving track, and we want seven. And we're done. And we'll just keep this going. Of course, we want eight. Okay, so now that we've got them all in, let's check on whether we've got them all right. Now you'll notice that the plugin has a yellow light, and if you hover over it, it gives you a list of what's in there um, from a little pop-up screen. If you click on it, you can also see exactly what you've got going into where. So from our video track, we've got our audio being sent to number three on the plugin. Then we've got one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. So yes, we've done that correctly. Um, thing to remember is that if you have made an error over here doing that, you can come in here and fix it up simply by pick, clicking on there and choosing the correct track number. Um, of course we got it right so we're done there that is our template set up now before we save it most importantly we'll go back and check the plugin uh, keep the plugin bounced out you can see now that there's quite a lot of information going in in fact we have 20 channels going in in fact there's only 17 with any audio on it it's defaulted to 20 with 10 speakers in the speaker array plus an LFE unit. 
Again, that means it's jumped up to 9.1 surround, which we don't want. We still want it in 5.1. Now that's much better. It's got 20 inputs and 6 out. And that is our plugin set up. As I said, in the next tutorial when we're actually using the film, I'm going through the process doing that. I'll go through all of this plugin. Um, we'll go through the process of automation for the plugin so that we'll actually get sonic elements moving around and giving us a real audio perspective of the little piece of film. Okay, so now last thing we do before we go, clicking on file and on our projects template button, click save template. Simply name it. I know. And overwrite it. And that's it. So thank you for watching this one. And I look forward to delivering the next one in not too distant future.